Hello everyone, in this video I'll be taking a look at Babe Music Player. Oh, another music player for Linux, you may be saying. Well, don't we have enough already? Yeah, quite right, we do have a lot. Babe Music Player is written in C++ and can be used on the Qt desktops. Well, it'll be compatible with other desktops as well, as long as you have the Qt libraries on your system. There are two rather good Qt music players already. Amarok, which tends to be pre-installed on many KD desktops, and Clementine. Clementine being my favourite. I like the presentation of Clementine, although to be fair to Amarok, it does have one feature over and above, and that is the lyric information. And that is one feature that Babe Music Player has as well, the lyric information. At the moment, Babe is in an alpha stage of development, and yeah, I've made it crash. Oops. So this is the default view of Babe. It should display an album cover here, but it hasn't for this particular album, and this seems to be one reason it does crash a bit, because it hasn't picked up the correct album information. I don't know, it, it, it's a bit of a theory of mine. Anyway, we can expand the player out and get additional albums. So let's click on that to play it, and that's displaying the album artwork there. That seems to be the downloaded artwork, because that's not the artwork I have on my audio files. So I'm not playing the song right now, because that would be a breach of YouTube's copyright. Although it could be funny if I put all the songs in here at once, because then they can all wrestle for copyright. Yeah, that would have been amusing, but then I couldn't have monetized the video. Oh well. So let's leave it muted. So to move the play line along, You'd think, oh, I could just click like a lot of music players. Nope. What you need to do is pick it up. I'll note a very small few pixels there, then you can drag it and drop it. Not quite as convenient as other music players, but that is my opinion there. That's the artist information. That's been downloaded from the internet. You can get a list of the most played favourites. Babes is something you can do when the song changes. Let me just try that. So if I move the song up to the end, show you the pop-up that appears in the bottom right hand side on. There we go. So you've got the option of Babe it, which I think means favourite or some sort of favourite. So Babes. <laughs> oh well. It doesn't pick it up when you click the Babes button on that pop-up. Never mind, you can click the heart button here. Song of Babed it. Yep. And there we go. So yeah, some sort of favourite. And here is the lyric information. Feel free to sing along in your mind, but don't say it out loud on YouTube. And finally, the settings. So I've just added a source for the music, so that's just my music folder. Extensions. Well, there is a Chromium extension that can be installed. Well, about the player. So version 0.0, .0 alpha. Hmm. Okay, a very early in development. Filter. Let's try this out. So you can filter something. Well, can be on the screen, or let's see, let's try something that's not on the screen. Run ski. Yeah. That's picked up all the songs from the Ronsky Speed albums. So you can choose from the songs you have in your library, or open up a specific file. There is an option of setting a playlist. But that, I believe, covers most of the features. So you can shrink the player back down, and have it as a very small picture. Very minimal, unobtrusive, and you can fast forward and rewind from that small little window there. So that was a look at Babe Music Player. In terms of installation, I've written a few notes on how to install it on an Ubuntu-based distribution, but it will require compiling from source. So am I ready to ditch Clementine and move to Babe? No. I will wait and see what development brings for this little music player. Right now I prefer the look and feel and stability of Clementine. And not to mention the convenience as well, because I don't have to compile Clementine from source. Well thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.